Um, before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bahawakachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as the reign of King Solomon. Now I'm going to go into a few points in King Solomon. So we're going to go into how long he reigned, how old he was. Um, you know, pretty much, uh, and his downfall, you know, his sin, what caused him to sin. So we're going to go into a little bit of topics here and there. And, uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is titled, lesson is going to be titled as the reign of Solomon. And Solomon reigned in Jerusalem from 960 BC to 922 BC. And we're going to prove that. And here it is from my book again. And King Solomon, he reigned from 960 B.C. to 922 B.C. And when he reigned, he was very young. He was very young. And we're going to go also on a map and show you, as you can see, where he reigned at. If you see in green, that's the area that was King Solomon's kingdom. As you can see right here, you see Damascus. Tamar, Hamath, you see all that, you know, Jopa, Jerusalem, you know, that whole area where you see the black dots, those are cities, and in those cities, that's where King Solomon ruled. He ruled that whole area right there, and pretty much, that's also a part of the Mediterranean, uh, the Mediterranean, um, not Mediterranean, but, uh, the uh, Mesopotamia, the, uh, the Fertile Crescent area. Not the whole part, but that's part of the Fertile Crescent, which is also all part of Mesopotamia. But that's Israel, as you can see, though, in that area right there. So that green area is where King Solomon ruled. That was King Solomon's kingdom, that whole entire area right there. So I just wanted to bring that. We're going to get into the scriptures now. And the first scripture I'm going to get out is the age of king solomon now the age of king solomon i got two different ages when i went on google it said that he became king at 12 and he was put and then it says he was put on the throne at 15 now the scripture doesn't give us an actual age of king solomon so giving you an estimate he became king between the ages of 12 to 15 that's pretty much i can give if i'm wrong elders and brothers correct me but that's pretty much what I got. Now, the scriptures doesn't give us an age. So, I'm just giving you an estimate. This is 1 Kings 3 and 7. It says, And now, O Lord, my power, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David, my father. And I am but a, a, a little child. And Solomon was young. Again, he was between the age of 12 to 15. You know, that's what I'm going to go by. It says, I know not how to go out or come in. And this is it for proof. It says, how old was Solomon when he began to reign as king? He was the age between 12 years old, 12 to 15 years old. That's pretty young to become king, but he became king. It says, there it is said, Solomon was king of Israel when 12 years old. See, he was between the ages of 12 to 15. Because when you go here, it says, when was Solomon chosen as king? It says, it is said that Solomon ascended to the throne when he was only about 15. So he was between the ages of 12 to 15 because it's giving me two different ages. I'm not sure, but just for edification, you know, if I'm wrong, Salaki elders and brothers, but I'm giving you an estimate of how old he probably was. And it's between 12 to 15 years old when he became king. So that's pretty young, you know, so. We're going to read here. This is uh, 1 Kings 11 and 41. 
this is pretty much going into the ending of his kingdom, but I want to uh, go into how long he ruled. This is 1 Kings 11 and 40, 41. It says, and the rest of acts of Solomon and all that he did and his wisdom, it says his wisdom are they not written in the book of the acts of Solomon. Verse 42, it says, and the time that Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel was 40 years. And Solomon also ruled over all Israel for 40 years. So his father did 40 years. King David did 40 years ruling all of Israel. And King Solomon ruled all Israel for 40 years. It says, and Solomon slept with his fathers, meaning he died. He died old. He went back to the spiritual realm. It says, it was buried in the city of David, his father. And Rehoboam, Rehoboam is King Solomon's son. That's who Rehoboam is. And Rehoboam, his son, reigned in his stead. So Rehoboam took over next after Solomon. But during the time of Rehoboam, that's when Israel was split into two kingdoms. It got split into two kingdoms due to the taxes and etc. stuff like that. People wasn't agreeing with it. So Israel was split into two kingdoms. You had the southern kingdom and you had the northern kingdom. I'm going to probably do that lesson, Lord willing, in the future. Or if the Lord put the spirit on me, I'll do a lesson on that. How Israel was split into two kingdoms. Because after King Solomon, Israel was split, split into two kingdoms. But that's a lesson for another time. Now getting back to... The main point. This is uh, 1 Kings 2 and 1. It says, Now the days of David drew nigh. So now you understand when King, uh, King Solomon ruled. Okay. King Solomon ruled from 960 BC to 922 BC. And he became king between the ages of 12 to 15 years old. This is 1 Kings 2 and 1. It says, Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he charged Solomon, his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. And keep the charge of the Lord, thy power, and to walk in his ways. And this is what David said unto his son, right? It says, and keep the charge of the Lord, thy power, to walk in his ways, and to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mightest prosper in all that thou doest, and whatsoever thou turnest thyself. Verse 4, it says that the Lord may continue in his word, which he spake concerning me, saying, If thy children take heed to their way to walk before me in truth with all their mind and with all their soul, there shall not fail thee, said he, a man on the throne of Israel. So this is when David handed the crown on to Solomon. And Solomon became king. Now, what led to King Solomon sinning was not being married to the heathen women, the women of the other nations. That was not what he sinned. Because you got Jakes that they get misconstrued with the scriptures and they'll say, oh, Solomon sinned because he married the heathen women. No, that wasn't the cause of his sin. He sinned because he took on the gods of the heathen women and brought them into Jerusalem and start building altars and started worshiping them. That's what caused Solomon to sin. It wasn't because he was married to the heathen women, the women of the other nations. That was not his sin. His sin was worshiping the other gods and bringing them into Jerusalem and building altars and worshiping them. We're going to prove that. That's what led King Solomon to sin. It wasn't because of the heathen women. That he married. It wasn't because of that. It was because he took on their gods and worshipped them. This is 1 Kings 11 and 1. But King Solomon loved many strange women. And it's not an iniquity to, to be an Israelite man and to be with the women of the other nations. It's not an iniquity. Because you got Jakes that's pushing that. Oh, it's an iniquity to, to, to be with a woman of, a, of, of, of that's not of Israelite descent. That's of the other nations. No, it's not. It's not an iniquity. We can be with heathen women. Yes, we can be with heathen women. We can be with women of the other nations. It is not a sin. It is not an iniquity. Now, for women to be with heathen men, that for them is a problem because their child is going to come out a heathen. But for an Israelite man, it is not bad for an Israelite man because that Israelite man, he sleeps with that heathen woman. 
that woman is going to bury a, 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 a seed of an Israelite because her man is an Israelite. So it's different for us. But for the woman, it's a different scenario. But for the Israelite man, it's not. Because that that man, that Israelite man sleeps with that with that heathen woman. That child is coming out in Israelite. And we know that according to Numbers 1 and 18. You know, let's get back to the main point, though. First Kings 11 and 1. But the king of Solomon, it says, But King Solomon loved many strange women together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, the Ammonites, the Edomites, the Zidonians, and the Hittites. See? So King Solomon had women that were of the other nations. He had women that were of the other nations. He had heathen women as his women that he dealt with. And he, that wasn't his sin, though. That's not what caused him this. That's not what he sinned for. He didn't sin for being with heathen women. He sinned because he took on the idols of the heathen women and he started worshiping them. That's what caused him. That's what he sinned for. That's what caused his sin, worshiping other deities, false gods. It wasn't because he was with heathen women. Verse 2, it says, Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go into them. It says, Neither shall they come unto you, for surely they will turn they will turn your heart, meaning your mind, after uh, after their gods. Solomon cleaved on to cleaved on to these in love, right? He cleaved on to the women's the women that he was dealing with, the heathen women he was dealing with, he cleaved on to their gods and started worshiping them. That's what the Lord was saying. He told him not to do that. Verse 3, it says that he had 700 wives. Yes, yeah, Solomon had 700 wives. This is when he was older, though. Not at the age of 12 or 15. This didn't happen when he was 12 or 15. But this happened when he was elderly in age, when he committed this iniquity. Verse 3, it says that he had 700 wives princesses and 300 concubines and his wives turn away his heart meaning his mind verse 4 for it came to pass when solomon was old see this is when he was elderly this is when he was older he committed this iniquity he was pretty old old in age when he committed this iniquity verse 4 it says for for it came to pass when solomon was old that his wives turned away his heart meaning his mind after other gods see he started follow, he started worshiping other gods that was king solomon's downfall when he when he what caused him to sin was he started worshiping the gods of the of the other nations right it says it says he turned away his heart meaning his mind after other gods and his heart was not perfect with the lord his power as was the heart of david his father right he sinned he started worshiping the idols the false idols see and it's going to go into the different idols that he worshipped, the different false deities that Solomon worshipped, is right here. These are the different idols that Solomon started worshipping. Verse verse five: For Solomon went after Ashroth, the goddess of the Zidonians, and after Melcom, the abomination of the Amorites. That's the god of the Amorites. Verse six: And Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord, and went not fully after fully after the Lord, as did his father. See, he started worshipping other gods he started worshiping false idols false deities that's what caused him to sin it wasn't because of the heathen women that he was married to oh he slept with heathen women and married heathen women that's that's his sin no his sin was worshiping false idols that's what caused him to sin it wasn't the women it was the gods that he was worshiping of the heathen women verse 7 it says then did solomon build a high place for for chemos for chemos see he started building idols for these gods he altars for these gods. It says the abomination of Moab in the hill that is before Jerusalem. See, he started building, he started building altars in the land of Jerusalem and started worshiping these these idols, right? It says and it says for Molech, the abomination of the children of Ammon. See, verse eight. And likewise did he for all his strange wives which burnt incense and sacrifice onto their gods. See, this is what Solomon started doing. That's what caused him to sin. It wasn't because of the heathen women that he got married to. It was because he was worshiping their idols. He was worshiping the gods of the other nations. He had them as his, as his women, right? But he started worshiping the women that he was dealing with. He started worshiping their idols. That's what caused him to sin. He sinned because he was worshiping the gods of the heathen nations. It wasn't because of the women he was married to. 
You know, just to fix that, because you got Jakes that have that. Oh, Solomon sinned because he married heathen women. He started sleeping with heathen women. That's what caused. That's that's why he sinned. He that's what caused him to sin because he was sleeping with heathen women. No, he sinned because he was worshiping the gods of the heathen women. Verse 9, it says, And the Lord was angry with Solomon because his heart was turned from the Lord, power of Israel, which had appeared unto him twice. Verse 10, appeared unto him twice. Verse 10, And had commanded him concerning this thing, that he should not go after other gods. That's what caused him to sin. Let's read that again. That he should not go after other gods. The Lord appeared unto him twice and told him, Don't. Take on to these idols. And he did it anyway. It says that he should not go after other gods, but he kept not that which the Lord commanded. Verse 11. Wherefore the Lord said unto Solomon, for as much as this is done of thee, and thou hast not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I have commanded thee, I will surely rend the kingdom from thee and will give it to thy servant. Verse 12. Notwithstanding in thy days, I will not do it for David, thy father's sake, but I will rend it out of the hand of thy son. Verse 13. How bit will I not rend away all the kingdom, but will give one tribe to thy son for David, thy servant's sake and for Jerusalem's sake, which I have chosen. So that's what led King Solomon to sin. So again, King Solomon reigned from 960 B.C. to 922 B.C. And he became king between the ages of of 12 to 15 years old that's pretty much what i'm i'm giving out if i'm wrong elders brothers correct me but that's pretty much what i got because it doesn't give you the age in the scriptures of how old he actually was but just going off of the you know off of what google is saying he became king between the ages of 12 and 15 years old and he reigned over all israel for 40 years so lord willing this lesson was edifying Till next time i say shalom